This is the Hurry Fighting Stick Mini. It's a console which is made by Hurry and licensed by PlayStation. As you notice from the looks from it, this is some kind of arcade controller, the ones you are expected to see at an arcade. So I'm gonna do my first reviews about it, first expectations. I've used this for a few days playing games on my laptop. I'm gonna let y'all know about it. First, the box. Shoving this aside, we get to see the box. Now, turn around, looks like this, pretty dope. Comes with a controller and an instruction manual, that's all. And it's compatible with PC. And it's just plug and play as this connects with a simple USB A inputs. Now let's put this thing aside. Perfect. And now let's get this. And first of all, I'm gonna give you kind of like in depth of the console of the controller itself. It's very lightweight. It feels a little bit cheap, though, but the quality of the buttons makes it like suppress so good. It kind of compensates the miss, miss points, like the bad points. I really like the arcade feel to it. It has a really nice sound to it. So we get packed with a PlayStation button. Um, start, select button, L3, L3, this allows for switching to PS5, PS4, PC, and we have the buttons itself. Now, let's get into the sound test. Very arcade-ish. I like it. I like the sound of it. It's really nice. I'm gonna start with some Guilty Gear Strife. Now let me fill screen this real quick. And I like how the the inputs work instantly and recognize it as a normal controller. Down, the coin looks terrible. As I see, the, the joystick is really responsive. You can make a halt strip on this. Yes, there's it. Haha. -ha. Okay. Great game. I suck at it. Well, anyways, there's more games we can explore. We can play games such as Street Fighter. Fun fact, I actually got impatient and all the fort um Street Fighter, so Well looks like we ran into some resolution problems and we're gonna try to fix it. So we're actually gonna try some tohu on this. Fuck yeah. Let's see how the night goes with this. I don't care about the trivial, yes, fuck you. Man. This body of one and medic, wow. Certified for my moment. Hold on, hold on, let me get the mascot. We have to get her for that. Okay, now our gameplay is totally legit. Oh, oh my Okay, 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 dog, okay, bro, 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 come now, come now, hey, 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 I think this is Relax, relax, bro Oh, okay Um Wow, what an interesting attack you got there Fuck you and your attack, to be honest Oh He's just gonna yap about shit Right. Oh, fuck 
can't think I can charge for this. Oh, a bus attack. Oh, bro, just lost the catch the dragon drops a bus. Okay, spell card, I'm fine. We can do this. We can do this as a team. Great! Anyways, that was my review about the hurry. I hope you liked it. This is my first ever tutorial or review of a product. I think Remy liked it. She did. It's just bouncing, you know, vibing. My Mac finally put it up. Jesus, I'm impressed. Alright, peace out. What I like about this console is its compactness. It is really light to carry and quite small, yet perfect for the hands. I could easily take this to school in my bag. The buttons are nice and clicky. It supports PS5, PS4 and PC. It gets recognized with most games and instantly behaves to it normally without much needed effort. I like the click sound too. It's loud and meshy. The price is another nice factor, which is around 50 euros on sale and 70 originally. Now, what I disliked about its controller is the plastic feel to it. The cable that feels mandatory, like you can change it in case it breaks, and that there's no Bluetooth or wireless mode. Aside from that, great controller, I like it. 8 out of 10, probably from my own opinion. And that's the end of my review. I hope you liked it.